Eric Wimmer here with Wasatch Heat Cable. So ice dams, a lot of people don't really understand what they are, how they form, and ultimately why they are not good on a home and how it destroys it. So I'm gonna draw some things out and explain an ice dam for you so you fully understand why they form and why they're bad. So let's first off, we're gonna create our roof eave right here. Here's our wall and our roof runs up like that. Inside the house here, we have our attic space up here, but you heat the house, right? And as you heat the house, the heat rises. As this heat rises in the house, it comes up and accumulates in the attic space. But through the winter time, this is when ice dams form, you'll get a snowpack on the roof, okay? And let's say it snowed a good 12 inches or so, or you got some snowpack up there, and it can be as little as even two or three inches. But this heat loss coming right here is gonna actually melt the snow and it's gonna start working its way down to the bottom. This is what I often call as melt water off the roof. It melts the underlaying snow that's against the shingles. Now, what's interesting, a lot of people don't realize this part. This is a zone in your soffit right there. I'm gonna label that as cold zone cold zone. You have air vents that come into the soffit and come up into the attic. It allows things to breathe so you don't get a lot of mildew or like mold uh, buildup. And by code you have to have that. Now the problem is when this water comes down it refreezes on the eave right here creating this ice formation. And as the longer this goes on so you got day one, day five, day 10. This snow up here is continually melting from the heat loss of the house. Nobody turns their heat off in the house and you really shouldn't. So that heat continues to melt everything up here and comes down. And as it gets bigger and bigger, eventually you'll get these pockets back here where this water comes down and will sit. It finds its way under the shingles and then you'll start getting drips coming in. You'll often see, um, <clears throat> you'll see ice forming down the wall right here, out the soffit. Icicles coming out of the, the soffit vents right here. Okay, we'll, we'll throw some videos or some pictures on here showing you some of this. But this ice will force the water, the water starts coming back in, comes down your walls, you have your ceiling along here and then it comes and drips out your can lights, things like that. So. The formation of the ice dam is due to snowpack on the roof, heat loss of the house, and a cold eave. Those are your three factors, okay? If you wanna prevent the ice dam, it's very difficult to eliminate 100% of all heat loss going, to the eave, going up in the attic. So you can reduce it. <clears throat> I've seen people put a lot of money in that but it's very difficult to completely eliminate it. So that heat will, it'll get there, it will. You can't really, you can eliminate the snow on the roof, but uh, that's very cumbersome in the winter time, especially if you get in snowstorm after snowstorm. <clears throat> the best solution for this is if you've got your roof there, you throw in some heat cable that runs along there. What that does, the heat cable actually allows for this water to come down, find the heated lines, and channel that melt water into the gutters down the downspouts and off the roof. So this is how an ice dam forms. This is what an ice dam does. This is how you prevent the ice dam. I hope this was helpful for you as far as preventing ice dams, taking care of your roof, and protecting your home. Uh, this is what we specialize in. It's all we do day in and day out. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And for more information, visit our website. Thanks, Eric Wimmer, Wasatch Heat Cable.